Good morning, Father. Today's Tuesday. My name is Sawal. These are your morning announcements. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, warriors. We have a new organic recycling program coming to Fallbrook. Some people think that recycling is fake, that when you throw things out, they all end up in the same landfill anyway. So why bother? Here's what a representative from the company handling our recycling, Edco, had to say about this topic. So for landfill trash, recycle, and organics, we have three different trucks, three different drivers that will pick up each material, each commodity. Um, recycle material does go to our facility in Fallbrook, where it gets dumped put into an 18-wheeler, gets hauled to our facility in Escondido. Uh, that there goes through an assembly line. Everything does get sorted, picked from tin cans, plastic bottles, um, aluminum cans, glass. Everything does, in fact, get sorted and shipped out. Same thing with our organics program. That now will be collected by a different driver. That food waste will go to our facility in Fallbrook, put onto a larger truck to be transported to our Escondido facility. There it will go through the process of breaking down and separating from your organic green waste and food. The organic green waste will be broken down, turned into mulch to be passed out for cities and county use. All the food debris, that will actually go through our AD system, which will turn into natural gas that will be pumped through to fuel city trucks, our own trucks, um, and just help. We're just basically giving back to the environment to help and to save the world. Thanks for watching. Go Warriors! Hey Warriors, did you know that food waste is a major problem in our county landfills? The food breaks down and releases methane gas, which contributes to global warming. Fallbrook now has an organic recycling program specifically for organic waste like food you didn't finish. When the cafeteria reopens, make sure you throw out your food scraps and any dirty paper, like napkins or dirty paper plates, into the organic recycling bins. Please do not put any plastics into this bin. If you are not sure where to put your organic waste, ask an adult or look for the signs. Thanks. Hey Warriors, as we get ready for the cafeteria to reopen, we'd like to remind you that recycling is a state law. When you throw out your trash, make sure you're putting the appropriate materials into the recycling bin. These include the following. Aluminum, like a soda can, glass containers, mixed papers like computer paper, or lunch napkins you didn't use, cardboard like Amazon packaging, or pizza boxes, carton containers like juice boxes, paper board like cereal boxes, metals like empty soup cans, and plastics including things like water bottles, the plastic cup your slushies are served in, and the plastic containers a lot of your food is delivered in. If you are not sure where you should put your recycling, ask an adult or look for the signs. Thanks. And now it's time for Miss Debbie Explains Cafeteria. Good morning, warrior friends. It's Miss Debbie. I'm up here in your kitchen, and we are on track to open up this brand new kitchen for you. We've got lots of great food recipes going down the track, and we can't wait to see you. Each student is entitled to a free breakfast or nutrition each day. Also, you have a free lunch and a free after-school supper. We want to see you. We've got some great food waiting for you. If you want to get breakfast and nutrition each day, then go ahead over to the website, the Fallbrook High School website, and it'll be very easy for you and your guardian and parents to load up your account ahead of time, and everything will be so smooth that way. How many times have you gotten into a line at the cafeteria and you were only told, oh, we don't have that in this line? Well, I'm going to give you some information that will make that a thing of the past. So we've got five lines here in the cafeteria. As you can see, we've got line one on the far left as you walk in, all the way through to line five on the far right. So what you can get at all five of the lines at lunch is anything that is a cold sandwich or a salad. 
then if you're looking out for the crispy chicken sandwiches, then you need to be lining up in line one or line five, the two outside lines. The, that's where you're gonna be getting your crispy chicken sandwiches, and I know you love those. So what you're gonna get in the center lines, two, three, and four, that's gonna be your entree of the day and we've got some great stuff cooking for you. So be sure to check those out. We have a requirement that at each meal, you need to take one fruit or a vegetable. At breakfast time, a juice. And we like you to go ahead and have those wonderful things. If you decide after you've taken your items, that you'd like to share them instead with a fellow student, we'll have share boxes at, located at each service area around the school. If you're just not feeling your veggies or fruit that particular meal, then we do have another option for you. All around campus, you'll find what we have is a share table. You can go ahead and take your veggies or your fruit Go ahead and deposit it in any one of those share table baskets and that way if another student uh, would like to have a fruit or vegetable then they're totally welcome to come and help themselves. So guys, I have one more bit of information for you to make your mealtime uh, go smoothly, and that is uh, a new policy we have going forward. And what will happen is, is when you want to get ketchup, mustard, and uh, mayonnaise, then you'll be limited to one packet of those. Uh, you'll go ahead and go through, get your delicious meal, and then just say, hey, Miss Debbie, I'd like a ketchup, or I'd like a mayonnaise, or I'd like one of each, and I'm here to serve you. So guys, I know this is a whole lot of information for you, but we're just excited about bringing you back to your new cafeteria, and we will work through all these new policies, all this new information, this new setup here in the cafeteria, and we are going to have a great rest of our year. Miss Debbie explains cafeteria. Here's your event calendar. And here's your warrior way. Now, time for sports. That's all the news for now. Make the most of your Tuesday.